Okay, uh, what's up guys, this is your boy Montre, and uh, I wanted to talk about a serious subject uh, regards to dating. Um, you must know, I'm back in the dating world. So, I really wanted to discuss something that I guess it's important to talk about and, you know, there's a lot of things going on with, I guess, our country and stuff. But I really, I really want to present the question, do, why guys, why gay guys, do they objectify black men? What do you think about that? Um, I want to talk about that for a second. And now, um, I don't primarily date white guys. Um, prefer preferably, I like dating Latinos. Um, that's just my preference. I don't know why. It's just something about them that is very passionate. I've I've made love to many of men. Uh, <laughs> I've, I can say that I've um, I've had sex with basically the United Nations. And when it comes down to it, I love Latino men. Um, that's neither here or there. Um, everybody has their ups and downs. White guys, black guys, Latino guys. Everybody has their weaknesses and their strengths. Um, even Asian guys. I've had a few. Uh, I find that Asian guys typically like white guys. Um, black folks like to stick to their own. And the ones that don't usually get called out. And I haven't really been called out of my name, but... You know, I really don't care anyway, so I'm not a part of the the big, you know, hey, you know, I'm trying to be cool with just the black people or just the white people or whatever. I don't really give a fuck what people think about me. You know, that's me. That's me. So, um, but when it comes to white guys, I always wonder if they, if they truly like, when they want a, a black guy or, or a Latino guy, or but, but most likely if when they want a bl black guy. It seems to me that a great majority of them uh, only want black guys as a fetish, like it's a like it's a taboo, like it's something that they shouldn't be doing. But it's a it's ob it's it's like I, sometimes I feel objectified when a white guy wants me. Most of the time, it's because oh I want that big black cock, you know I want that big black cock, which is fine. You know, because uh, I'm not primarily a bottom. I mean, I have top verse, so I don't mind that somebody wants me for uh, my genitalia. I want them for theirs as well. But that's not the primary reason that I want to be with somebody. You know, so when I want to have an intelligent conversation, sometimes it's hard or it's difficult. And, um,. I feel like the conversations don't go beyond sex. So I, sometimes I wonder, you know, the intentions of Caucasians, you know. And I have plenty of Caucasian friends. I have plenty of Caucasian friends that are, that are gay. And the ones that date interracially, that primarily date interracially, um, they're not, they tend not to be that way. The ones that don't, the ones that tend to either don't date anybody at all, like they are primarily single, or they primarily date, <laughs> date, what am I, what am I, country now? They date primarily white guys, but they will have sex on the side with black guys. That that bothers me. It's like, why haven't you had a relationship with a black guy? You like black dick, but you never had a relationship with a black guy. What What's the problem? So, I don't know. I find it's, I think it's kind of like, I don't want to call it racism, but in a way, what is that? What is that? When you objectify or you sexualize, overly sexualize one particular race and you know you just want them for that one thing but you don't want to really get to know the person as an actual person so 
Uh, I really don't have an answer. I'm just presenting a question out there. And I want you guys to kind of help me figure that out. It's not that I'm really wanting to date white guys. It's just that they're in plenty, especially in the gay community. And you get on Grinder or Adam for Adam, there's plenty of them. And there's plenty of them to choose from. Not that they all want me. And, the, and uh, I would say here in Dallas and Texas, uh, a good majority of them don't. Actually, that should be a whole blog by itself. No fats, no films, and no blacks. Because they will they definitely tell you that. And it's almost like, oh, is being black like a disease or something? Is this the new plague? Like, what did I do wrong? Oh, I'm black. Oh. So, in the gay community, the quiet racism that's in the gay community is an issue all by itself that we can deal on another day. But, um, I don't know, have you, if you're black, uh, have you ever been objectified by a white guy? And if you're white, have you objectified a black guy or did you do it and not realize it? Leave me a comment below because if you don't do it, then who will? Peace out, guys. Have a good night.